Tucson Mall is a shopping mall in Tucson, Arizona that opened in 1982. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The land that Tucson Mall occupies was previously part of a property of the Wetmore family who had a farm located north and east of West Wetmore Road at Oracle Road. Helen Wetmore, the wife of Ralph Wetmore, whose father had started the homestead in the late 1800s, had attended the Chicago Exposition in 1933 and saw her first regional shopping center she was favorably impressed and envisioned that someday the Wetmore family property at North Oracle and West Wetmore Roads would be the site of a similar retail center. She kept the parcel together until 1978 when plans for the Tucson Mall began with Forest City Enterprises. The 102-store mall at North Oracle and West Wetmore Roads would be the city's largest when it officially opened on March 22, 1982, with a total of 1.4 million square feet and at a cost of $77 million. The mall took 18 months to complete. The mall would open with five department stores, unusual for a new mall. They included the Broadway Department Store, J.C. Penney, Mervyn's, Diamonds, and Sears. In 1984, Diamonds was sold to Dillard's and closed. A 197,000 square foot Dillard's would open in its place. In 1990, the mall began an extensive expansion project. First, the Dillard's anchor was expanded and a parking garage was added adjacent to Dillard's. On the east side of the mall, an entirely new wing was built. The original mall footprint had stopped just to the east of the center court area. A Foley's department store opened in 1983. The area to the southeast of Mervyn's had been a parking lot. A new wing opened in 1991 and added over 400,000 square feet to the mall and over 70 new stores. 1993, the food court was renovated with the addition of a carousel and Arizona Avenue. 1996, the Broadway closed. It changed to a Macy's after Federated Department Stores acquired Broadway. In 1997, Foley's closed. It reopened as a Los Angeles-based Robinson's May. In 2003, the aging mall underwent a $15 million overhaul, which was the first major overhaul since it opened in 1982. The mall was given an all-new polished tile floors, glass railings on the upper level, new escalators and elevators where stairs had been, a new children's play area, new and refurbished restrooms, a reworked food court and Arizona Avenue, and changes to the fountains and new paint schemes. In 2006, the Robinson's May closed. 
who would reopen as Macy's, the old Robinson's May location, only offered 2,000 square feet more than the current Macy's location, but it was also a newer building in a more prominent location in the Tucson Mall. The existing Macy's on the south side of the mall was closed and later demolished. In 2007, the former Macy's store was demolished in preparation for an extensive remodel and addition of the south side of the mall. The changes included the addition of a grand entrance hall and the location of the old anchor, extension of stores on both the east and west side of the new entrance, additional multiple water features, complete update of the facade from the current Macy's to mall security offices, and the addition of REI and the Cheesecake Factory on the south side of the Tucson Mall. At that point, the two-level Tucson Mall was the largest mall in southern Arizona with 1.3 million square feet. In 2008, Mervyn's closed after the store chain filed for bankruptcy and closed. In 2009, an 80,000 square foot Forever 21 opened in the vacant Mervyn's location. In April of 2020, Sears closed. On February 15, 2023, officers responded to a man who was stabbed at the Tucson Mall area. As the largest shopping mall in Tucson, Arizona, spanning over two floors and 1.2 million square feet, Tucson Mall offers over 170 stores and services, anchored by major tenants such as Dillard's, Forever 21, JCPenney, Macy's, and Old Navy. According to their website, Tucson Mall is a must-visit attraction for anyone looking to experience the best shopping, dining, and entertainment in Tucson, Arizona. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was seven, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what do you remember about this mall? Leave a comment or some more details that I may have missed, or maybe even a suggestion for a future mall video you would like to see. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe Eric C. Productions. Thanks for watching.